What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's given me a discipline, it's given me something to die for. What does it take? Spectacular afternoon of boxing brought to you by McTaggart Scott's Boxing Club. This one is sponsored by Resistone, a light heavyweight contest. It's three two minute rounds. Mr. Tommy Winters once again a referee in charge. Introducing first boxing out of the blue corner. He wears the orange and black shorts of the Lochaber Phoenix Boxing Club for William presenting Anton Perkins. And of course, we're in the red corner, winning black draws with white. Boxing for McTaggart Scott. Boxing Michael Wilson. There we go. Kick us off the second half of this afternoon's boxing. See, second half there's four bouts left. Michael Wilson and Wakaba Phoenix is. Anton Bodkin, good start there for Maiko. As Anton just manoeuvres round just to make it difficult, show him down a bit, make it difficult for him to land. Oh, these guys are ready. Anton loading up that big right. Michael taking a step back. Just to make a mess. Some big body shots are coming from Anton as he gets caught up. Referee's told him to break. Nice 
swapped off from both for Sinato Gremendo with that lift. Michael. Island twos and threes. Big left there landing for Michael. Red corner again, he throws that left right jab. Anton try far back, just not quite getting there. He is moving the jab. That's when the back to basics uh, kicks in, just when in doubt, fire a few straight jabs right down the middle. I can see what um, Anton's trying to do here. I suppose Michael is as well, he's just stepping out the way, he's just swinging big shots. But Anton firing back. Great match up this. Uh, shout out to Lakaba Phoenix. Um, everybody that's been watching or watching back later. Oh. Big shots are landing just as the bell sounds. Um, great opening uh, bout there, I think. For me, Red Corner has just done enough um, to, to take that round, in my opinion. But I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. Um, I can see what Anton's trying to do though, he's, um, a few times he's been getting caught up, he just went straight back to the basics, throw that jab, he's really forcing Michael on the back foot. Um, so we've got referee just querying something with the blue corner. I'm just watching what's going on. Um, I think we're going to see the end of the bout here. Right, we're going to have a timeout. Um, that's it, the referee. I think, so that I'm 100% cleared up. Um, what I've seen is, I, I think either the blue corner you ever spat in the bucket or he was a bit sick or I don't know. Um, but I think the referee had a chat with the, the doctor. That's what I think happened, I'm not 100% sure. But we'll pass the KC with the official announcement in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, before we declare the official result, please your appreciation for the boxers in the ring. So ladies and gentlemen, between rounds, at the end of round number one, a referee calls a halt to the contest, declaring the winner in the red corner, Michael Wilson. And please, ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for Rock Hammer Phoenix and John Jorkin. Uh, just before we got to the next bout, they'll just get ready, I've just got a quick minute to speak to Michael, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm buzzing, especially after my last contest, I'm buzzing. So, um, I had you up that round anyway, I think you, you kept, you're the busier boxer. Um, I could see that um, Anton was trying to maybe just try and use that jab, but you were just, for me, you're just, you just outboxed him in the, the first round. Um, you didn't see what had happened, but I think he was 
I, I'd seen, I thought he was sick or spat in the bucket. I think that's what, why the referee got the medical team involved. Um, but a win's a win. After that, it was a great, a great opening round. But how, what was going through your mind? Um, my, my, I've hurt my hand, my right hand, so and that's also my big hand. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it from the get go. Just try to break him down as much as I can. Eh? Try go up and down, up and down. I call me a nice body shot. I don't know if that's what made him be sick or not. I honestly don't know, but I'm, I'm just buzzing. Eh? <laughs> just cheesing. And what a, a great one in front of the, the crowd. You got a, the atmosphere here has been brilliant. The place is, is absolutely packed out. And I'm glad I came through. It was like. I, I did put it in the diary because I, was, I had shows back to back Friday Saturday I didn't know if I'd make it um, but a taxi driver got me here today so proud of, proud of him for that anybody you want to give a shout out to? Uh, just my coaches Sandy Scott and Bob um, they, they've just they never gave up on me a lot of coaches probably would have after my last bout because it wasn't me at all I'd never done anything they were asking me to do but they stuck with me they gave, they gave me a game plan they told me what to do and I executed that and I got the win so just thanks to them eh? boy man but you went out there and you done it you done the job well done, my man, and I'll see you hopefully not too soon. Uh, too far.